Hello everybody, it's Lurks here. Welcome to my channel. And today, have you got an error E18 on your Bosch washing machine? This basically means your filter is blocked. You've probably got some coins in there or a hair clip or something. I'll show you how to remove the filter, give it a good clean and then put it back in again. Right, let's get cracking. This is the E18 error that I've got on the front panel display. So the first thing you need to do is take out your wet washing. Normally if you get that error E18, it will stop mid cycle. Now the next thing to do is switch off the power at the plug. And then you need to turn off the mains cold water feed. Because we're going to be removing the drainage pump filter. Now right down here on the right hand side at the front, you've got this small plastic panel. Just push that clip down at the top and then remove. And the first thing to do is remove this hose here. Now you'll need a small tray to catch any water. You can pull that hose out a little bit and it's just got a small cap on the end. So just unclip that cap. And this is just draining out any excess water inside the drainage pump filter. You will still get some water when you unscrew the filter, but this is just to get rid of most of it. And there's a link above now about how to install a brand new washing machine. Okay, once all that water has come out, you can put that hose back. Remember to put the cap back on nice and securely. Do not leave that off, otherwise next time you do a wash, you will get water all over your floor. Now just get a small tray, because you will get some excess water out of here from the drainage filter. You just turn it anti-clockwise, don't unscrew it completely, and just let the water start draining out. Now if you get too much excess water, you can always tighten it up quickly, empty that tray, and then unscrew it again to get any excess water back out again. And there's a link above now about how to put the child proof lock on your Bosch washing machine. So I'm just going to empty this. Now I've just put a, a small towel down on the floor. So you're just turning it anti-clockwise again, just nice and slow. I can already hear that there's something in there. And there is the culprit, look, an old penny. Unfortunately, it's not a gold penny. Now the normal culprits are coins and hair clips. So just have a look inside, make sure there's nothing else stuck inside there. And while you've got the filter out, just make sure that propeller turns easily. I've just got a flat bladed screwdriver and this is moving freely, so that's good. Now this filter is actually looking in excellent condition, so there's no need to clean that. But if it was all gunky and dirty, just give that a clean under normal hot water. Now just put the filter back in, you just turn it clockwise and just keep turning it until it locks in in the upright position. And there's a link above now about how to remove the dispenser drawer on your Bosch washing machine if you need to give that a good clean. I'm purposely going to leave this front panel off just so that the first wash I can just check that there's no leaks on the filter. Next thing you need to do is turn the cold water feed back on. Just do this very slowly. Once you've done that you then need to turn the power back on. Make sure you haven't got wet fingers. Then put your next bit of washing in. And there's a link above now about how to open a jammed door on your Bosch washing machine. Close the door and then start a cycle. I'm just going to put it on a super quick 30 minute wash. Put one of these liquid gel balls in, which we've been using lately. Close the door and then start the wash. Once you're happy that there's no leaks out of the filter that you took out and put back in, you can just put that front panel back on again. So let's just put that back on. Definitely no leaks there. 
and there's a link above now about how to clean your UPVC window frames so they stay clean. I tell you what, that's made me pretty thirsty. It's time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh. And also our Esther is very thirsty as well. Not for tea, just for some water. It's hard work, isn't it, making all these videos? If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, everyone. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab. <laughs>